Kristen Belzana kept the woman in the house viewers hooked throughout the entirety of season 1 as fans eagerly awaited the truth behind Lisa's, Shelley Hennig, murder. Was it all a manifestation in grieving Anna's mind? Would she get to the bottom of the murder? Or did she carry out the murder herself? All of these questions received their answers in the jaw-dropping Netflix finale as it was revealed nine-year-old neighbor Emma, Samsara Leela yet, was the one who killed her father Neil, Tom Riley, and his other half. Over the course of eight roller coaster episodes, the woman in the house viewers realized Anna had indeed witnessed the demise of Neil's girlfriend, Lisa. Doubts had been cast over her state of mind thanks to her excessive drinking and grief at the death of her daughter, with ex-husband turned therapist Douglas, Michael Lele, and neighbor Carol, Brenda Koo, all expressing their concerns. Anna even found herself in handcuffs at one point as Detective Lane, Christina Anthony, arrested her for the murder. However, by the time the limited series ended, Anna was vindicated in her quest for the truth, living happily once again with Douglas and even welcoming another child to the family. The final moments of the series had yet another twist in store though when Anna boarded a plane to visit pal Sloan, Mary Holland, in New York. After taking her seat, Anna soon had an unnamed woman, Glenn Close, take a seat beside her. But as the flight got off the ground and Anna woke up from her slumber, she went to the lavatory only to find the woman had been murdered. Anna frantically alerted a flight attendant only to discover the body wasn't in the bathroom when they returned and that, apparently, no woman had even sat beside her in the first place. Before the credits rolled, however, Anna found a pocket mirror the woman had used lodged in the seat next to her, seemingly confirming her suspicions. The limited series ended there and then but it certainly left the door open for Anna's story to continue. However, as billed as a limited series, season 2 initially seems unlikely. But two of the show's creators and showrunners have now spoken out on the possibility of U-turning and bringing season 2 into fruition. Showrunners Hugh Davidson and Rachel Ramress opened up to Entertainment Weekly about the possibility of another run. Davidson said, Rachel read all the books and then Rachel made me and Larry, Dorf, read the books. And I think there were two of them that at the end had an excerpt from the author's forthcoming book. We thought that's such a funny thing that goes on in books, but it doesn't go on really in shows. So we always knew with the last episode, after we fulfill the obligations of who the killer is, and all that stuff, we thought we wanted to do something like that. Davidson went on to admit, Rachel, Larry, and I spent a good two or three days figuring out what could potentially be season two. But we did it sort of as a joke and just to make sure we knew what the hell was going on, but we'll see. However, while it may have been toyed with as a joke, could it really happen? It could, Ramras added to the publication. Well see if people like this first one. The woman in the house across the street from the girl in the window is available to stream on Netflix now.